Hello, my name is Abby Mayfield, and today I would like to show you how to make a love monster. So they're a little crazy, they're cute, um, pretty easy to make, and uh, it's pretty fun to make them because uh, you can be as creative as you want. So they're really great for any age group. Uh, teens make them and enjoy it. Uh, kids can make these. Uh, like I said, it's really not that hard. Um, I'm targeting this for about five to seven, but again, teens can make these as well. So what you need is pretty basic items, items you probably already have at your library. Uh, so I'm going to use a pipe cleaner, some yarn. I chose a very vibrant, bright colors, uh, even in my pipe cleaners. You don't have to. You can all have an assortment of different colors. You can just have plain colors or blacks, whites, whatever you want. Um, really, I think the more color that's involved, the cuter they are. But you know, if some boys or even some girls don't necessarily like the brighter colors. So um, I would have a variety, uh, but two or three packs of yarn would probably be more than enough to cover all ideas or feelings. Um, cardboard, I cut mine about the, the length of my, hand, my fingers. Um, you can use your fingers as well. Uh, so this is probably about two, three inches wide. Uh, you can use your fingers as well, but um, for kids, it's not quite wide enough. So a piece of cardboard is a good option. And also on my cardboard, I cut a little notch at the top here. You can kind of see it. You'll see it better here in a minute. And that's to hold the yarn. Uh, so I don't have to keep holding it down while I'm trying to wrap. Uh, you also need some googly eyes because every project really needs googly eyes. Um, pair of scissors, a nice good sharp pair. Uh, it's nice, but you know you're working with kids, so you might want just some, then they can cut a piece of yarn at a time or a couple pieces at a time and some hot glue. So I got a hot glue gun. And if you're not comfortable with the kids using a hot glue gun, you can be the master of the hot glue gun. That's fine. Uh, so you're gonna start with your pipe cleaner and you wanna fold it in half, so meet the two ends. And you're gonna come down to a, the loop. At the loop, you wanna make one good twist, okay? And that's it for the pipe cleaner, it's prepped. Now it's time for the yarn. So you're gonna take your cardboard and your yarn. Like I said, I made a notch here. You don't have to if you really don't want to, that is okay. But it's just easier, and especially for children, you know, it's it's a no-brainer. Um, and then you just wrap it. And you can wrap it as much as you want, as many times as you want. Uh, this little guy is probably about 30 times. This one's probably about 60 or so. Or 30, yeah, 60 or so. Um, I've already wrapped my cardboard. So I've wrapped this one 60 times. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner on one side of my cardboard. And I'm going to slide the end of the pipe cleaner between the cardboard and the yarn. So just on one side. Okay? Just on one side. I'm going to make it nice and snug. And then I'm going to twist the bottom down here. Nice and tight. Okay? So you just flip it over to the non-pipe cleaner side, right here. And you're going to slide your scissors in between the yarn and the cardboard. This is why you would need a sharp pair of scissors, but if you just want the kids to cut a few pieces of the yarn and only trust them with safety scissors, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to do a nice clean cut through. I think I missed a few pieces, which, like I said, it's okay. It's not, these don't have to look perfect. The kids are going to love them either way. And really, the crazier they look, the better. Um, so then you come down to the eyes. And there's a couple different ways to make these eyes. For this guy, I took the, this guy, I took the loop, flattened it out pushed it down and twisted either side and just glued um, googly eyes on either side. For this guy, I just took the loop and twisted it really good until it was very small and did a hot glue eye right there. 
And then for this guy, I flipped him over and I just twisted them, twisted either either one in to make um, to make the eyes. And you just put the googly eyes on either one. Of course, you want them a little tighter, but on either one. Um, I think for this one, I really kind of like the um, the the cyclops eye, so I'm going to go ahead and twist it back, just like that. Put a dab of glue on my little googly eye, and it doesn't matter which side you want it on, really. Um, if you want to do it on both sides, if you want to add a mouth with felt, if you want to do felt feet, all of that's options. Um, I have felt. I keep it handy for all everything that I do, um, but really, you could. I mean, you can make antennas and have uh, felt hearts coming off the antennas. Um, it's it's really use your imagination. If you don't use the side with the legs, you can fold them up and make like a little stand for them to sit on. Um, and that's it. That is how you make a. <laughs> crazy yarn friend um, or love monster, however you want to call it, whatever you feel like calling them. Um, because of the name, they're actually pretty cool for um, Valentine's Day and you can give them as gifts to each other. Just whatever, just a fun little craft, rainy day craft. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Um, enjoy your little yarn monsters, love monsters.